What's on Your Radar, presented by Viscount Mining. You're watching Small Cap Power's What's on Your Radar, a video series that takes an in-depth look at the current stock market through the eyes of a financial analyst. In this video, we have Alex Kudelenko, an analyst with Gravitas Financial. Alex, thank you for being here. Uh, tell our viewers a bit about your background and also what you do for Gravitas. Sure. So I'm an equity research analyst at Gravitas. Mm -hmm. And uh, one of my roles here is to produce equity research reports, uh, take a broad look at the market, at the industries such as oil and gas, tech, industrials, and pretty much provide an opinion of what I think the drives the industry and the, the key players within it. And what's on your radar this summer, 2015? Sustainability. Okay. <laughs> That's definitely one of the things. Uh, the reason why I say that is because Ontario recently joined Quebec and California in the cap and trade system. Mm -hmm. So what that means is that it's, it's an initiative specifically for Ontario to cut its carbon emissions over the long term. Sustainability, the, the concept of sustainability uh -huh. hasn't been around for a while. Mm -hmm. it's, it's not something that's been really focused on mm -hmm. up until recently where carbon levels have just been getting out of hand. It's right, right. a point where climate change is starting to happen and we see big impacts. So now that the government is coming into play and providing these sort of initiatives, um, it's a big driver for the industry players to kind of grow their business and you take know, initiatives. Yeah, exactly. To do better for the environment. Yes. Okay. And, and what makes a sustainable company successful? And then what do you look for? I think one of the biggest things is a sustainable company pretty much tries to maximize its triple bottom line. Okay. So this this whole this whole concept of the triple bottom line is pretty much to not only look at its financial health, mm -hmm. but also make sure that it's it's environmentally acceptable and. By that I mean is that it needs to make sure that its processes processes are clean. Uh, so CO2 Solutions is actually one of the companies on our Ubica Sustainability 20. Okay. It's an okay. index that we've developed by taking 20 sustainable companies uh, and we update it regularly every month. Mm -hmm. We push out this information to our readers with new sort of information and just an industry overlook. Right. Uh, these constituent companies were handpicked by the analysts on board and um, we believe that these companies are going to be the driving force of sustainability within the foreseeable future. And as an analyst, what red flags do you look for? Uh, so some red flags are uh, pretty much just a company that um, has been trying to make a process clean, but mm. it hasn't really reached any sort of milestones okay. or any sort of you know highlights. Right. Um, a company that's burning a lot of cash trying to you know pursue its goal, but hasn't really done that so far. So you have to take a look at its its burn rates. You have to take a look at the management and its overall goal. And lastly, and this is very important, mm -hmm. a company has to attack a market that is economically feasible. So if it's trying to solve a problem that only has a small impact on the economy, that's not really that big of an impact. You have to take a look at a company that's trying to attack something like mining producers or oil and gas, something that has a large impact, large economical impact. And how can our viewers learn more from you? Yeah, so contributors can always reach me at my email at alex at gravitasfinancial.com. Great. And I'm also a regular contributor on Small Cap Power, so they can always find my articles there. Okay, awesome. Thank you very much for that, Alex. Thanks. Be sure to get your copy of this month's Sustainability 20 Report on smallcappower.com. And while you're there, be sure to check out more of our videos. I'm Rachel Lee for Small Cap Power.